A Disney employee busted, say investigators, for chatting online and trying to meet what he thought was a dad and his eight-year-old daughter for sex. Federal prosecutors say Frederick Pohl of Claremont was surprised when he got to an Orlando hotel. There was no girl, only investigators waiting to arrest him. When we posted this story on our 10 News WTSP Facebook page, Monique wrote, oh, gross, what happened to his background check? Well, Monique, we had the exact same question. So we asked Nightside's Grady Trimble to do some digging into this guy's background. And Grady, what'd you find? Well, he worked at Magic Kingdom as a ride operator. And according to his Facebook page, he was there for nearly a decade. What we found out about his past is disturbing. In 2007, police in Canada say he chatted online with an undercover detective posing as a 13-year-old girl. And court documents say Paul transmitted 17 images and one video file of suspected child pornography. We asked prosecutors why he was not arrested back then, and they had no answer. They referred us back to the documents. We know Disney does run background checks on employees, but those only flag people with criminal histories. In Paul's case, Disney wouldn't discuss a background check or tell us if they knew about the 2007 investigation. Disney would only say he's on unpaid leave. We hear about Disney employees arrested for crimes like these fairly often, like this man arrested in 2017 for having child porn and molesting a child. He's in state prison now. And this man is waiting to go to trial. Polk County deputies arrested him last year for having child porn. Of course, Disney isn't the only theme park with cases like this. Employees from SeaWorld, Legoland, and Universal have also been arrested for similar crimes.